Since the success of Tower of God and God of High School, the fame of webtoons and manhwas has been growing. And since we heard that solo leveling was going to be adapted into an anime, the manhwas fanbase has been going crazy. But not all of them are as good as the aforementioned titles. What attracted fans to these titles were their overpowering main characters. Today, there are tons of manhwas and webtoons that have similar overpowered MCs, but not all of them have a plot or story that can solidify their overpoweredness. So, to help you get the perfect dose of overpowering MC fueled by an exciting plot, I've handpicked 40 manhwas and webtoons that meet these criteria. <laughs> the real reason is that this might be the last video about manhwa for a while. So I want to make it big for this final. Okay, let's start with number 39. Warble. In a world where humans and demons live in separate dimensions, a mobile app is the only way to travel between them. Well, for the demons. It is easy to enter the human realm, but the humans must use this app called Warble. In such a world, Jude Park is just a normal kid who will become the king of grimoires. But this future is changed due to some warlock. So now he has to defeat the said warlock and prevent the world's destruction to save humankind. 38. Peerless Battle Spirit The story takes place in the Kangling continent that runs by one important rule. Those who possess a martial spirit are the only ones to take the path of cultivation. Kin Nan is a talented young man born with the lowest grade martial spirit. However, when he gets struck by lightning, he obtains Divine Battle Spirit. It helps him level up through the realms, breaking through the rules, but it also possesses a secret. What it might be? Peerless Battle Spirit starts at a slow pace, but once you get into the actual storyline, you'll find it interesting. Seeing Kin Nan ranking up feels so satisfying, and the story is incredible. The artwork is pretty awesome, and if you're looking for a cultivation manhwa with OPMC, then it is a must read for you. Number 37. Martial Peak Aiming for the pinnacle of martial arts isn't easy. It is an endless pursuit with lots of obstacles, and to surpass them, you need to break through the limits, increase the will to survive, and adapt to every situation. Yang Kai is a disciple on the trial of the Ling Xiao sect, and one day, he finds a wordless black book. From this moment, his fate began to change, and his journey to the peak of martial arts has begun as well. The story of Martial Peak is so addicting, and MC is the type that we exactly love. He's kind, ruthless, and more importantly, he overpowers enemies. This manhwa gets pretty interesting right from the beginning, but what we love more is the moments. So, if you're looking for a cultivation manhwa with OPMC, then you shouldn't miss this one. Number 36. Cultivator Against Hero Society What happens when a powerful, immortal, cultivator time travels only to end up in a modern world? To our surprise, the modern world is filled with hero society with superpowers. In this new world, where will he go? And will he end up in trouble once in a while? Whatever happens, he is strong, and he'll never bow to anyone. In the worst case, he'll face the whole hero society. The concept is really cool in this manhwa. We've seen cultivation manhwa with game system concept, and modern world MC transported into a historical world where cultivation is everything. But this is the opposite, and just imagine how exciting would cultivation versus superpower be. It is pretty exciting, and the pace is great too. Thus, it is one of the best cultivation manhwa with OPMC. Number 35. Beyond Max Level Last level limits were made for a reason. Too many overpowered beings to monitor is just, sorry for the word, a pain in the butt. But of course, some brat decided otherwise. No one knows how he did it. Don't look at me, neither do I. He broke the ultimate concept that kept the power balance of the Earth stable. Will his action plunge the Earth into chaos? Or will he bring an era of positive change? Number 34. The Legendary Moonlight Sculptor This Korean webtoon is already quite popular. It talks about a man drowning in debts. He was burdening his family who had no choice but to support him. As an act of desperation, he bargained once more and attempted to enter the world of MMORPG games. 
To his surprise, and ours, he's more than just good at it. He's extraordinary. Leveling up at a tremendous rate, he soon became the number one player, and with his title, money started overflowing his account. Number 33. Tutorial is too hard. Without spoiling too much, I'll say that there's definitely some level of wankish power fantasy elements to the MC's abilities, since from the get-go, it's made clear that he's surviving shit that nearly no one else can survive, because he's blessed with what is essentially a clutch factor that allows him to perform at superhuman levels in high-pressure situations, even before he starts accumulating stats or skills from Hell Mode. In fact, Later on, just to highlight how ridiculous the MC is, it's revealed that America handpicked a team of the best to try to conquer Hell Mode, and yet they were climbing far slower and less effective than the MC, despite the MC sending out all the info he knows about Hell Mode to the outside world. I'll definitely say that this manhwa isn't for you if you're bothered by the MC being obscenely OP relative to every other human character. With that said, what the novel does super well is presenting unique challenges to the MC for him to conquer, while at the same time seamlessly expanding an interesting and mysterious world, and showing how being isolated and alone in a high-pressure environment slowly wears on the MC's mental. It's definitely the type of story that's more about the main character fighting the environment he is in than it is about character conflicts, which makes it different from most other OP MC type stories. It's not a perfect story by any means, but it's definitely a unique experience. 32. Legend of the Northern Blade As the MC loses his father and his entire sect to the unjust rule of the lords, he vows to take his revenge but he is always looked down upon for his weakness. However, he has been training hard to revive his father's lost sect, unbeknownst to his guards. He is, in fact, overpowered to the point that he hides his true potential so that a war against the world doesn't break out. 31. Triple S Class Revival Hunter Since the tower emerged out of nowhere, a lot of people have been going in and claiming different skills, but our MC has the worst luck of all as he has zero skills for himself. He is super jealous of the best ranker of the tower, and this jealousy is what rewards him. He gets the best skill that he could have asked for, and as for what it is, it's better to read the manhwa than read the plot. Number 30. Volcanic Age After surviving the Age of War through sheer luck, our MC becomes the leader of one of the most influential post-war factions. Despite that, he lives a life that he never wanted to, and for that, he is full of regret, even on his deathbed. But this regret revives him back into a time when the war had only just begun. Now armed with his previous life's knowledge, he becomes the most powerful character in this manhwa. Number 29. Magic Emperor being the holder of the Book of Nine Secrets, Sho Yifan, or the Magic Emperor, was targeted by his own students and defeated. Though he was killed, he managed to possess the body of a family servant. Unfortunately, due to some mishap in his soul transfer magic, he is unable to defy his new mistress. But he still retains his past skills and powers. So, with his revenge on the line, he has to serve the family while hunting down those who betrayed him. Number 28. Max Level Returner Think of a world similar to Sao but in reverse. That means instead of the players, it's the monsters who come into the real world. Such is the premise of this isekai manhwa. One day, out of the blue, thousands of people get isekai'd into a survival game type world. As soon as the MC reaches the max level, the people within the game-like world are teleported back to Earth. This also brings in the monsters and now the entire Earth becomes their battlefield. Number 27. Medical Return Suppose you are a surgeon, but you are one of the worst out there. Due to some miraculous incident, you are sent back to the past with your knowledge and skills intact. So what would you do? Study hard to become a better surgeon? Or choose an entirely different medical line? Well, the MC of this manhwa is one who did the latter. He was transported back to his middle school days, with his knowledge intact. Instead of trying to be a successful surgeon, he strives to become a dermatologist, so that he can earn enough money to live his life to the fullest. He never shows off his talent, but you will have a lot of hell to pay if you look down on him. 
Number 26. Return of the Frozen Player. A group of hunters wants to save the world by clearing a single floor dungeon, and this group successfully reached the boss room. They only have to kill the Frost Queen, and all will be okay. But there is a catch. Only one hunter can enter the room, and you know it well that it's our MC who enters the room and defeats the Queen. However, this triggers a trap, and all the hunters get frozen in ice. So when our MC gets unfrozen after 20 years, he is greeted with a new world where he is regarded as a legend. Though he is unfrozen, his teammates are still icy. The only way to unfreeze them is to earn XP via the dungeon. So he sets off to reclaim the dungeon under an alias to free his teammates. Number 25. Worn and Torn Newbie Deus Ex Machina is a game that lets you enjoy a fantasy world. The MC is a veteran of this game. It's a game with a huge player base, but now it's just a dead game. Still, the MC keeps on playing, hoping that he will get his money back and repay the debt, which was caused due to playing this game. But this never occurs as he dies of hypertension. Instead of dying, his life gets reset back to the point when he started playing the game. With all the knowledge about a game that he had played for 15 years, he can finally have the life he wanted. Number 24. Return of the 8th Class Magician Ian is the only mage that ever achieved 8th class. He was the one who brought the current king, Ragnar, to the throne. He committed atrocities in his name, and yet his trusted friend betrayed him. Terrified at the idea that Ian might one day turn his back on him, he decided to get rid of him. I mean, he's a man that can wipe out a country just by flicking his fingers. He is doing the world a favor. He can tell himself whatever makes him sleep at night. He poisoned him, but the overpowered magician can't be killed so easily. Ian went back to the past, to a time where his hands weren't yet stained by blood. Guess who won't become king this time? Number 23. The Constellation That Returned From The Hell in a world where constellations sponsor the hunters and give them a fragment of their power, a particular hunter has it rough. He gets into an unfair contract with a constellation, but despite that, he keeps on training no matter what harsh environment he's thrown into. Finally, he turns into a constellation due to his relentless training, but he isn't satisfied with that. With his newfound power, he returns to Earth only to find the ones he called friends have become rich and famous whereas he is still at the bottom of the barrel. So now the MC has to climb back to the top and prove his worth. He starts off weak but gradually becomes OP. Number 22. The Dark Magician transmigrates after 66,666 years. Diablo Volfer, the MC of this Korean manhwa, is an omnipotent being, overpowered yet kind. Unfortunately for humanity, the 12 gods that rule the world didn't see it that way. In their eyes, he was nothing more than a threat. They combined their strength, but only managed to seal him. They thought they were safe now. Thing is, they were before, but not anymore. After 66,666 long years, the seal wore off and the kind magician came back home with a grudge. Not just against the gods, but all their children as well. Good job, protectors of the earth. Number 21, White Blood. All vampire stories are far better than the Twilight Saga, there is no doubt about this statement. But this manhwa takes those similar topics and perfectly presents them. It has action, gore, and enough romance to make the mix a perfect blend. The story is set in a world where vampires suddenly started appearing. It probably might be one of top vampire manhwas out there. In such a world, there is a vampire who is in love with a human and wants to save him. We know it sounds like Twilight, but believe us, it is free of the cringe. For those who are frequent on the channel, I already talked about it in my video about vampire manhwa. Number 20. The world is money and power. A school full of delinquents changes as soon as a transfer student comes in. He puts a leash on all the students who fight with the help of gambling. This changes the school for the better, as it attracts the influential individuals who transfer their sons and daughters into the school to create connections. But all this fake balance is shattered when another student, Dan Jun, enters the scene. This genius single-handedly fixes the flaw that the teachers and students used to follow. Number 19. Nano List in a near-future setting, when androids are a common thing, they are feared. That is because of the recent murder spree. The androids, which were supposed to help humankind, are killing them every day. 
In such a world, a sister leaves behind nothing but some cash and an android for her younger brother to inherit. This android, specifically Nano, is a possession that Milo, the younger brother, has to stick with no matter how dangerous it may seem. The story has a light-hearted Terminator feel to it. Number 18. Descent of the Demon Master What would you do if you had the power to stop evil and want to help the masses? Well, you definitely wouldn't want to share your power with the people, would you? Well, the Red Demon, the most powerful being in ancient China, wanted to do so. But others were not happy about it, and for this, he had to pay the price with his life. After getting betrayed and stabbed, he woke up in a hospital bed in modern Korea. Though he thinks that the war of the past has left him behind, that can't be far from the truth. Number 17. Hardcore Leveling Warrior The world is crazy about Lucid Adventure, a game that you can play in your dreams. And the best player of this game is none other than our MC, the Hardcore Leveling Warrior. Well, he is ranked number one, but he is not someone who is respected for it. In fact, he is hated by everyone, and this is what causes his downfall. He loses all his stuff and has to start from the bottom. But he still has his skills, and with his extensive knowledge, he starts climbing again. Number 16. Kill the Hero Ever felt like the world is unfair? Well, once you read this manhwa, you will get what I am talking about. The MC gets betrayed by the ones he looked up to, the most powerful hunters in the community. But when these heroes killed him, he didn't die. Instead, he went back to the past. Now, equipped with his knowledge about how things play out, he wants his revenge against those who betrayed him, even if it requires going against the entire world. There are a lot of revenge manhwa out there, but this one stands out the most. Number 15. Dungeon Reset a group of random people gets teleported to a dungeon that they have to clear to return to their world. They even have skills to help them clear it. But things get complicated when these skills are useless. That's precisely what happens to the MC of this manhwa. He has the worst skill of them all, and it is just simple purification. Still, he survives and becomes so overpowered that even the dungeon masters are afraid of him. Number 14. Study Group Ever felt like no matter how hard you study, you can't get the expected grades? Well, the MC of this manhwa is exactly like that. The only thing is, he is in a school that is meant for fugitive criminals. He gets transferred to the school and only wants to study hard enough so that he can get into a renowned university after four years. But though he has a dull brain, his fighting skills are top-notch. He doesn't go around bragging about his skills but beats the crap out of those who come and ask for it. Number 13. Auto Hunting We start our top 10 with the first webtoon named Auto Hunting. The story takes us to a world where monsters have started to appear all over the world. Thanks to portals called Cracks, we follow the daily life of our protagonist, who is a young man working in a restaurant. The only problem is that because of his low income, his girlfriend decided to leave him. However, a few hours later, a crack appears in front of Young's restaurant, and while she is about to be killed by a level 2 monster, something appears in front of him, a blue circle, where it was written auto-hunting. And it is at this moment that our hero uses this unique ability, able to beat anyone. Then frankly, it is too well what all the drawings are really well. The fights are where it is, and more the evolution of the protagonist is really too well done. I can only advise you it. Number 12. Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Kim Dokja is good for nothing. He's even less interesting than a mundane individual. The only thing he would look forward to throughout the day was the time when he could relax and read his favorite web novel, Three Ways to Survive in a Ruined World. You thought he couldn't get more pathetic? Well, this novel is so boring that he is the one and only reader. But a day came where the reader turned into a player. Out of nowhere, the world transformed. It muted and became the world described in Kim's novel. Being the sole person who finished the story, he knows everything that's going to happen in the future, where the best artifacts are and of course, how to get them. Kim always said that he was content being a bystander, but when the opportunity came to steal the role of the cool and overpowered MC, no idiot would think about it twice. Number 11. The Archmage Return After 4000 Years Lucas Strawman is the strongest mage to ever exist. He is so strong that despite being a human, he challenges the demigods. This doesn't end well as he gets trapped in an endless abyss. 
but he returns after 4,000 years of imprisonment. In this world, his legend is still told and respected, but this is not enough to satisfy him, as he vows to get his revenge on the demigods for the injustice they did to him. Number 10. Elisid In a world where humans who awaken superhuman abilities are known as awakened, Caden is the most powerful among them. But when ambushed, he escapes with his life. To escape his foes, he transfers himself into a cat. Well, the greatest fighter of the world is now a regular old fat cat, but luckily, he gets picked up by a cat lover who also seems to be an awakened. Will these two be able to help each other out? Only time will tell. Number 9. Ranker Who Lives a Second Time The younger brother, among twins, sets off to conquer a tower that's filled with magic. He went there to find the cure for his sick mother, but got stabbed in the back by the ones he called friends. But upon death, he left a pocket watch for his elder brother. This watch enabled the elder brother to learn about all the secrets of the tower. So, with his knowledge and superior fighting skills, he sets off to seek revenge for his brother. Number 8. A returner should be special. After years of working together and losing hundreds of companions, a group can finally defeat the evil dragon of the Shadow World. But that was not the end, as the dragon's heart explodes and kills everyone. Desser Armon was one of the group members. He was supposed to die after the explosion, but instead, he's transferred back to the past. Now, with his extensive knowledge and skills in his arsenal, he will make sure that he loses no one in the accursed Shadow World. Number 7. Survival Story of the Sword King After finishing his military service, Hanbin is chilling on his desktop when suddenly he gets summoned to a different world. To escape the hell he is sent to, he has to level up by killing monsters. But his malfunctioning guideline makes him suffer for 20 years. This webtoon took the phrase what doesn't kill you makes you stronger too literally. Hanbin, after being sent to hell, is transferred to a paradise. Here, he has to blend in, for if he is found out, he will be executed. But the funny thing is, no one is even able to execute him in the first place. Number 6. Tales of Demons and Gods Nile was the weakest in his class and was frustrated for he was unable to protect his loved ones when the demon beasts attacked. This fueled his determination and made him one of the strongest spiritualists and martial artists of the world. But when he fought against the demon sage and lost his life, he was brought back to his 13-year-old body. He is still the weakest, but now he has the knowledge of a veteran. Using this knowledge, he sets out to become powerful and protect those who he lost due to his weakness. Number 5. Weak Hero In a school full of delinquents, the weak are supposed to get bullied. They are picked upon just for entertaining the strong. But all this is changed when the new transfer student arrives. Such is the premise of this webtoon. The new kid is not super rich or super strong. What he has is his brain. He looks like any other weak student, but his IQ is over 9,000. What we mean is that he uses his brains in his fights. This gives him the upper edge against the bullies. With his abilities, he starts establishing a new rule that changes the school. Number 4. God of Blackfield In the modern world, mercenaries are a common thing, and among all the mercenaries, one is regarded as the best. God of Blackfield. But while on a mission, he gets shot in the back and dies. However, he wakes up in the body of a teenager. Without having a single clue of what happened, he starts living a normal life. But this was not meant to happen because he soon is pulled into the world of mercenaries, where his only goal is to kill those who betrayed him. You know, a lot of MCs get betrayed in Manhua. Number 3. The Breaker Though most Manhua and webtoons are digitally colored, this one isn't, and such colorless art goes perfectly with the story. He isn't just a simple English teacher like others think him to be. He is a martial arts master who is feared throughout the country. Not everyone knows about him, but one of his bullied students finds out about it a lot. Seeing this, the student wants to learn from the teacher and become strong. So, to prove his worth, the teacher asks him to jump off a bridge, and by doing so, the student demonstrates more than just his worth. I talked more about his third season, the Breaker Eternal Force in the first video of the channel, which was about the most popular manhwa to read. Number 2. Solo Leveling If you don't know solo leveling, where do you live? In a cave? <laughs> anyway, in this manhwa, gates suddenly start appearing in the world, and so do people who can clear them. 
These people or hunters are respected for their contributions to society. One such E-ranker, the lowest tier hunter, enters a gate where he dies at the hands of a monster. But soon after, he wakes up in a hospital bed where he realizes that he is no longer a normal hunter, but one who can level up. In a world where all hunters have limited potential, he is the only one who is unlimited. There are a lot of manhwa like solo leveling, but I have to say, nothing beats the original. Number 1. The Beginning After The End He was a king who had everything one could ever wish for, but he never had a family to share this with. He is poisoned by his enemies and thus has to leave behind the life he had. Instead, he is born into another world where he has a family that loves and cherishes him. With his extensive knowledge from his past life, he is now willing to protect the things he never had. This manhwa is basically jobless reincarnation, but with a fast-paced story. In the world of manhwas and webtoons, finding an overpowered character isn't that hard, but finding a good story and plot to back that overpowered character is a troublesome task. After listening this video, you must have understood that I did the heavy lifting for you. So now you just go to your manhwa or webtoon reading site, search for the title you like, and chill. You will undoubtedly have one of the most incredible times of your life. This ends the webtoon and manhwa topics on our channel. Bye!